back. So we're starting off with this vinyl today that is a jean print vinyl that I got off of Glitter Craze. Um, I'm not going to say for you to go order from them, but when I did order it, it was a while back, and I, what I had thought in my mind it was going to be more country, but I saw these jeans on Pinterest, and I knew exactly what I was going to do. So I've been searching on Creative Fabrica and just kind of looking at all their new stuff, and I found these, this like hippie retro you know collection that somebody had put together this bundle and i knew the minute that i saw those jeans that i could do with this jean vinyl and i could put all of those little sayings and stuff on there like if they were just stickers or patches or something like that and so that's kind of how this all evolved so you saw there i used my ultimate tumblr guide and I made a little mark on there so that I could put my vinyl on there perfectly straight. And it did. It went on there perfectly straight. And then I just um, trimmed a little bit off of the backside. I wasn't too worried about, um, you know, the discolorization or anything like that. Because, I mean, jeans are jeans. Jeans, you know, fade and this kind of thing. So I just was going to kind of use it uh, to my advantage. I did take the little piece underneath out and then I stripped off that top piece. I did have to kind of work it back down a little bit, but um, all in all, I got a straight line and that's the most important thing. So after I got that trimmed up on the side, I did use some heat, which I was, of course, just so, just that much out of frame here to be showing that I was heating this up. But anyways, um, I heated it up and then I pulled it down and, and, you know, pulled it and stretched it or whatever over that bottom part, which I've shown before, which we've done before. So it's just that same thing. And then I trimmed out that middle piece there and we have a perfect little edge. Um, I just made sure that it was pushed down good enough and we have a full wrap top to bottom. So here I got my brand new uh, vinyl cutter from Cami Page Boutique and I was using it to cut the top part off of the, you know, the, the by the rim there I wanted it. It was a little bit higher than I had wanted it to be, but it was fine. It, it didn't, I mean, it, it was fine after I, I looked at it, but it was a little bit taller. It was a little bit more um, than I would have wanted, but no big deal. So I will say that my first, my first idea in my head was to use just the stickers to, to print them out, cut, have them have just some design space in Cricut, you know, design them and cut them out and all of that. But design space in Cricut, I, um, I don't know how they're in business, but anyways, I won't sit here and complain and complain and complain and complain but that's what I want to do anyways so I had to go a different route so what I decided was I found these rips like they were like they were supposed to be like paper rips but I kind of utilized them as like rips of fabric right so we're ripping the fabric and putting patches or something down and we'll add some um, stitchy type work to it later to kind of give it that feel but I used this white frosted vinyl that I got somewhere else. I don't even remember. But I do know that Creative Fabrica... No, I'm sorry. Craft Haven does have this frosted vinyl. And it does have like a glitter shimmer to it. And you can find it at, at a lot of different places. I'll try to find um, a place and uh, tag it in here down at the bottom for you. But I wanted to have just a little bit of glitter. I thought, you know, since we have to do this because, you know, design space in Cricut sucks. Um, anyways, um, so I thought I would just, I was like, well, I'll just add a little bit of sparkle here, you know? So I cut the different ones and I did want to use a lot of the images in the bundle. So I was kind of, I kind of measured it out as far as measured around the cup. And then I put that square into design space and then decided that, you know, I would put, a, put one here, put one here, put one here, and then I would have enough, you know, space and enough room to kind of hopefully put all of the images that I had, you know, printed out on my water slide paper because I was going to print them out on print and cut and have design space cut them. But anyways, don't get me started. So I have not put any coats of epoxy on here. I just wanted to make that clear. I put, I wrapped the vinyl 
that's what I did there and and then I put the vinyl piece the vinyl ripped pieces on there and then we are going right into our putting on of our water slides and so I tried to cut them as much as possible around the the shapes and stuff I didn't try to get too accurate but I did want to have enough room to kind of place all of these little images and I didn't want to have you know one thing overlapping another thing and that kind of thing so I made sure that I cut them as much as possible now this was a little bit of a puzzle in trying to figure out you know what can go where what can go here what can can you know fit into this little space and what can and so I just had a lot of fun with this I mean honestly I just kept I just kind of was like okay this one okay this one can go over here and you know and and honestly that's what I did I just had a little bit of a little bit of time to kind of do this and that was it and had I had the stickers it had design space and Cricut worked with the way that they're supposed to work um you know I would have just been sitting there putting stickers on so it was kind of the same thing with these patch you know this patchwork type style um, that I just kind of was trying to figure out. It, it it did make me kind of keep things in a specific area. So I will say maybe it was okay that this happened. But, um, you know, I kind of wanted to have that just gene, that, that just kind of like person just sitting there drawing on their jeans and, uh, you know, just making, making their jeans personalized and that kind of thing. So I didn't really want to do the patches. But... Like I said, it did kind of give me just like specific areas to kind of focus on. So for me, maybe that was a little bit better. But um, all in all, I absolutely love the way that this came out. I love this bundle that it, it, I mean, you could make so many t-shirts and so many cups or anything you could do. You could make signs for your house with these. I mean, there's some really cool sayings and they're really beautiful they have a lot of detail to them. They have a lot of color. Um, so I was really pleased. I, I was very, I, this, this will probably, you'll probably see me use this more than once, this whole bundle. And I had like two more left at the very end. And I thought, you know, this is a lighter part of the jean. Maybe I can add this in. And so I just kind of threw them on there just to give it, you know, another look of like just hodgepodge and you know bohemian and that kind of thing so I just threw them on there at the very bottom so once I let that dry I it was I guarantee you it was probably overnight because I can see that there's light coming in now <laughs> anyways I I did this I think one night I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna see how if this works if this is fun to do and um and then I probably just let it sit overnight and then came back in in the morning and put a coat of epoxy now this was our first coat of epoxy and then I went in with a second coat of epoxy and I sanded the bottom really well and sanded around the cup and sanded the rim and all of that <clears throat> and then I went in with our next step so this is where I got my white um, marker from Arteza I think are, these are the Arteza acry acrylic paint pens and um, I just wanted to kind of go in and make like a stitched look so like if these were stitched on patches that were there i didn't want to do too much i just kind of wanted to kind of add a few things here or there and i just went around and just kind of added them ever so slightly here or there with the you know some of those like jagged pieces that were um <clears throat> kind of cut out of the vinyl there and then i just kind of looked at it i was like okay do i need anything else anywhere do i let me add a few here. You know, I was like, I didn't want to get too overwhelmed with the, the paint pen, but I also wanted to make sure that we were adding. And then I decided, you know what, I'll do on the side, on the on that seam, I'll kind of act like we kind of sewed those back together a little bit, you know. And uh, so I kind of did that. And I was, you know, this was supposed to be kind of distressed and worn and, you know, and personalized you know so I just kind of I just wanted that look to it I don't show this very often but I kind of just every once in a while I get the idea that I was let me just make sure that I show them how I do this and I have this file that I got from like Ace Hardware and I just use that to kind of knock off some of those big pointy 
pieces that kind of come up. I don't know how they, where they come from or what, you know, what happens, but you know, you, you know what I'm talking about, especially with glitter. And so I just use the file just to kind of file that down because it's a lot easier to do that than it is to sand those things down. And so, and it also just kind of gives you that, it just kind of takes that real sharp point off so the sanding becomes a lot easier and I did have to do a lot of sanding on this bottom because some of that vinyl did come up a little bit whenever I um whenever I did put the epoxy on there so I ended up putting a little bit of UV resin on the bottom there and filled that space in a little bit and then I went back in with a coat of epoxy so I had to make an order from Zindi.com and I was, I was just kind of like, well, if I always do that, you know, cause shipping is like astronomical. So I was like, you know, if I'm here, I'm going to look and see if there's anything that I could use or want or have been wanting to try or, you know, whatever. And so I saw this, um, like image on there for, it was like a clear cast decal thing. And I was like, oh, this will go perfect with my jeans, you know, because I was thinking about, I could put a name there. I could put this, that and when I saw this, I was like, oh, this will be perfect. You know, so I put a little piece, I cut a little piece of one of those ripped, you know, paper fabric tears or whatever that I had. And I just put the clear cast decal on top of that. And then I just added that to the top of the tumbler here, a little bit out of frame, but you can still see what I'm doing. And then I just put a piece of the denim vinyl on the bottom part of the tumbler and I finished it off with a few coats of epoxy and there it is. She's so cute. I love it. Now, if I, if these were jeans, I would 1000% wear them. Um, I probably would have had them in high school and I would have worn them every day and people would have made fun of me and I would not have cared. But anyways, <laughs> I have everything linked down below. This bundle from Creative Fabric is a must have. If you don't have a membership, please click the link down below or buy this bundle. It is 100% worth it. The, I'll have everything else linked down below as well. And then also please like and subscribe and comment below. Let me know what you think about this. I do have a Facebook group and we um, talk about things over there and I am so excited if you join and if you remake this, please tag me and I'll see you next time.